Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Racer Star RC 2306.5 and 2207.5 motors. In this video I'm going to go over their features and specs, bench test the two available KV options of each motor using my motor's thrust stand, and finally head outdoors and test the 2306.5 1650 KV motors using this new 5 inch build. First of all, the Racer Star RC motors are available in two sizes. 2207.5, which is more racing oriented, and 2306.5, which is more designed for freestyle. In addition, both versions are available in two KV options. So the 2207.5 motors are available in 1850 and 2550 KV options, one that can handle up to 4S batteries, and the second one which can handle up to 6S batteries when pushing 5 inch propellers. And similarly, the 2206.5 motors are available in 1650 and 2450 kV options. As for their specs, both motors feature a round bell made out of aluminum, which is going to help to keep them cool. The motor shaft is hollow and it is made out of titanium alloy. They come with 16cm long 20 gauge silicone coated wires. The 2206.5 motor weighs 35.1 grams and the 2207.5 motor weighs 38 grams, which shouldn't surprise you since its volume is greater. As expected from a premium motor, the motor bell is secured using a hex screw. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets, and on the top side of the hollow motor shaft you can find an o-ring, which is going to help to reduce vibrations. On its top side you can find a grip pattern for better securing the propellers. The stator diameter of the 2206.5 motor is 23 mm and its height is 6.5 mm. And the stator diameter of the 2207.5 motor is actually 22.5 mm and its height is 7.5 mm. Now after this quick introduction, I'm going to show you the thrust test which I performed using 5 inch and 7 inch propellers and then show some flight footage using this new build. Overall, in my opinion, in case you are looking for relatively budget-friendly premium motors, you should definitely check these motors out, as they seem to perform well, they are pretty efficient, and if you'd like to make them even more efficient, you can use them on a 7-inch setup, and even after pushing them to their limit, the motors were relatively cool. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.
Oh, 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 oh,